Hello all, welcome to Rotterdam.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we design a report with a parameter and providing the input values in a comma-separated comma manner. Okay, so I'm into PI Publisher, XML View Server. Okay, and I'll just create a new data model. Okay, so I'll just save this one first of all. So I'll select existing folder or you can if at all if you want to create a new folder also you can create it you just need to click on this icon so that you can create a folder and also whenever you create any folder right you make sure that where you are creating like which location or in the catalog you're creating okay i'm creating in my folders the folder name sriram in this x the name of the data model is xx party dm so i'll just save it and now in the diagram so click on this one new data set so i'll go with sql query and i'll just mention XX party query. XX party query. Now select the data source. I'll select with application DBFSCM. Now in this one, I'll select select start from headset parties. Okay. So as of now, I'm not not giving any filter criteria. Okay. So now let us see this one. And also before checking the data, click on save. Now click on the data. Now here, if you observe, we're getting all the data which is available in the as a part stable. Now, what I want to do is I just want to add a parameter called party number. Okay. And I want to allow user to select multiple party numbers. So now first thing what I'll do is, so here in this one, I'll change where party number, I need to mention in clause colon P underscore party underscore number. So what I'm doing now is I mentioned in clause followed by parenthesis colon p underscore party number once i click on ok it will create a new party number with the name p underscore party number so i'll just select ok let it create a new party number parameter and you can mention the display label enter party number okay actually numbers we can allow user to enter multiple party numbers also but let us see that now click on save now click on the party query now click on data so now here before giving any data, just click on view and see what happens. It is not providing any data, right? Because we have mentioned in and clause, right? Now I'll select three and I click on view data. Now we are getting the data. Let us say I want to provide multiple parameter values followed by comma separated manner. So what I'll do is let us I'll say three comma four. Four was a valid party number. Now it is not giving any data, right? Now the problem is here whatever the value which we are providing it will be enclosed in a single course so the data which you are providing now what is happening is it is getting to the query as single course three comma four so there is no party number with the value three comma four okay so now what we have to do is there is a property here in the parameter just select that select the parameter and now we just select this option text field contains comma separate value now what will happen is it will separate the set of values based on the comma so that it will mention single quotes three comma single single quotes four so that it will identify the individual values properly now just check the query and again try okay let us try again sometimes it may not work because of the cache or some issue yep perfect right now we are able to see all the i mean we are able to see the employee data three comma four i mean the party data we have one more uh, set of part like a 1036. Let me try that also. 1036. Click on view. Right. It doesn't matter about the space. It just considers the comma. Okay. Now let us say if you want to. Now in our case, this is considered as a mandatory. Right? Let us say if you don't mention any of these, any of the party number, it will not work because if you have mentioned and right and and then let us say if the value is null, what will happen? Nothing will work out. So what you can do is can mention like this nvl of okay nvl of party number that's it now let's try it should work even though if you don't give any data right that's the expectation okay perfect so if you give the data it has to work accordingly let us now this time i'll mention 1058 comma 1022 let us see whether how many records it will fetch okay so it says 
invalid number of arguments, right? Okay. Let me try this. Okay, now the issue is, so in the in the, the issue is with the NVL stuff. Now what is happening is this party number as it was considering like uh, what is happening is this party number it is it is sending the individual values as a comma separated value that is the reason it is not taking that it is not taking the input parameter as a this one so now what you can do is so this nvl will not work in this scenario okay so remove this first of all okay so we have to add up some more extra logic so now let us say we'll just go with the existing logic only and just try. Okay, so you can consider that particular way, like uh, instead of having NVL. Now, as per this logic, what we have done, we have considered it as a mandatory. So, until unless you enter the value, it will not work out. So, let us say if you want to pass null, so that will check in the next session. Okay, so for now, we have seen how do we set, how do we send parameter values in a comma separate fashion in a BI report. Thank you.